Hello there, welcome to the bullwaves.org. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different format for uh, the YouTube channel videos from here on out. So I'm going to do just a market blitz, just one market and go through the charts that I have operating on that market right now. So short little five, ten minute video. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to look at uh, deep dive into gold uh, today. So my main um, outlook for gold is a rally in a third wave up. Um, most likely already underway um, with one caveat being a, a possible um, large degree B wave triangle underway at the moment but I'll dive into that in a second um, the extreme low way back in December 2015 uh, 1046 um, I'm calling that a B wave low uh, so if you want to look here that's the weekly chart there so I'm calling that a three waves down uh, ending in uh, wave C that was an ending diagonal wave C uh, to create that 1050 or 1046 low and and from there we should head up in five waves uh, to complete a C wave up around you you should probably look for something up around the 2600 to 3000 range um, and I wouldn't even be too surprised if it pushed even higher than that uh, in a kind of a blow off top uh, wave C okay so that's the weekly chart down to the daily chart you can see here's that one two pattern off the B wave low and so five waves up three waves down I'm looking at a five waves up at one degree lower uh, into the 2017 high <coughs> three waves down expanded flat wave two and now looking at a third wave up developing um, if you want to just push out or uh, parse out that uh, possible triangle B wave, uh, which would be a three wave move up, um, an alternate count in a three wave move up, uh, up to about with a target at about 1600. Uh, that would be wave A up and then a B wave triangle, which would bounce around, you know, range for another m couple of months or so and then push up into a C wave. So either way, on, on those two counts, uh, you would expect further upside. Um, the main alternate I have right now is that we have um, an extended uh, wave 2 with a possibility of uh, a running flat uh, wave 2 which we which stopped at a higher low again um, above that previous uh, wave 2 bracket there. So still looking at a third wave up, still looking at the possibility of uh, an acceleration higher in gold, especially if we get the sell-off in the stock market that I'm expecting. Okay, so that's the daily chart. So the four-hour chart here shows off the extreme low there back in uh, 18, 20, or uh, what's that, August 18, uh, development of one, a series of one twos and then extended higher th third wave. So we have wave one, wave two, uh, lower degree wave one two and wave three completed at the recent high possible three wave down wave four this could always this could also develop out into some sort of a, an extended triangle pattern wave four so we're still kind of feeling our way through this uh, off this corrective low at the moment so um, the immediate concern would be to see if we are are, are, are building a, an extension higher in a fifth wave so that's kind of what I'm working with over the last couple of weeks uh, and so far so good I mean we're pushing higher again today uh, and definitely if we get a break of that previous third wave high about 1345 or 3046 whatever it was that would confirm that fifth wave up so the hourly chart I'm working with here is that the previous wave uh, three high possible three waves down you can see wave a um, that could be three waves down it's hard to know um, a B wave triangle and then a one, two, three, four, and five uh, with a possible triangle fourth wave there. One dip lower into wave five at that 1280 low. And that was just right in around the previous fourth wave low as well. As well. Uh, so that, those kind of levels of, um, let's say, uh, signals kind of stack up on top of each other. And the fact that we've risen higher uh, off that low is a pretty decent. Um, general signal that the market is moving higher anyway so I'm um, like I was saying I'm moving with the we're working on the base case scenario that we have um, a fifth wave underway uh, with the alternate that this is 
developing into a larger kind of uh, let's say triangle contraction triangle wave four but i think if we got a break of that 1345 or 1346 high that would confirm the fifth wave higher um, and if that was the case then we should probably look up towards the maybe in the 1400 level uh, to complete this uh, fifth wave um, for the moment uh, this week we'll kind of see if we can get um, the completion of a second wave and a signal higher in a third wave I mean this could be a running flat wave three or sorry wave two that uh, that just completed with that spike lower last week and we're pushing higher again like I said this morning um, we've got a break of that uh, Friday's high there was that Friday's high Thursday's high uh, and uh, so we're looking good for a possible third of a third wave up um, if we get a break of that previous B wave uh, internal low there a triangle low or sorry that triangle high uh, 1328 uh, push above 1330 would be a pretty decent um uh, would be a, would be a a nice uh kind of closing out of that uh that previous fourth wave and a signal that we're moving higher into a wave five anyway this week we're looking at the development of the fifth wave so um unless we can confirm the alternate uh fourth wave scenario a uh, i think things are looking good for gold for the uh immediate um let's say next month or so in a possible fifth wave up okay so that's um gold wrapped up um if you want to see more nightly updates just uh, head over to the website and uh, take a look at the memberships and um we'll see you on the website tonight if you do see ya bye bye